Okay, good afternoon, dear students. Uh, today we will learn the preservation of intermediate uh, interval theorem. <coughs> this is very important theorem, and this is also the application of continuous function. Okay. Uh, the we have basically we have two theorem of uh, interval uh, related to the interval theorem. One is if we have a function f is i to r. Okay, suppose that this is a function f is i to r, and graphically we can understand it. Uh, suppose, suppose this is a this is a function, and uh, we have two points in this function. This is a function f x, okay, and this is a graph of f x, and this is a graph of x, right? And the, uh, the a continuous function. This is a continuous function on an interval. This is the interval. This is a closed interval a and b. This is a closed interval a and b. Okay, and in this case, uh, if this is a closed interval, closed and bounded. This is a closed and bounded interval. Then the range, the range of the function, the range of this function is f i. The range of this function is f i equal to f x. The range of this function is f i equal to f x, where x belongs to the interval, is also closed and bounded. If the interval is closed and bounded, then the range of this function is also closed and bounded. This means the range of this function is this is the range of this function in y-axis. This is the range of this function. Suppose that this point is capital M, this is small m. This is the range of this function. Okay, and this range, this range is also closed and bounded. It means this range is. It means the interval. This interval. Interval i. Equal to m to m is closed and bounded, okay. And also we can say that this is the infima, infima value of the range set, infima value value of the range set, and this is the supremum value value of supremum value of the range set. Range set means f i. This is the supremum value. This is the in, infima value. And this interval is as closed and bounded. If the interval in the, if the uh, interval in x-axis and interval in real line is closed and bounded, okay. And second is uh, if f is such that i to i, it means this is a function, is continuous function on i, and i is a is an interval. Then the range is also an interval. This range, this range is also an interval. This range is also an interval. If this is an interval. If this is an interval, then this range is also an interval, okay. And if this is closed and bounded, then this range is also closed and bounded, okay. And the lower bound is also known as infimum of the range set, and the upper bound is also known as supremum of the range set. This is the this is the intermediate. This is the preservation of interval theorem, and it is applicable only for Continuous function, okay. It is applicable only for continuous function. Okay, student. We have the two theorem related to the preservation of interval theorem, and we can also uh, merge it in one theorem, uh, also closed, bounded, and an interval. Okay. Always the range set is a closed, bounded, and an interval. If the range, if the input interval is closed and bounded, then okay. Thank you.